Hello, dear viewers. Um, hey, stupid camera. Keep the cable plugged in and I just watch the turn. Hey, I thought I told him not to turn. There, good. Um, right. Okay, as I said last yesterday, I have been officially diagnosed with delayed sleep phase syndrome, and the doctor recommended melatonin and a daylight lamp, normally used for people with seasonal affective disorder. Now, here's the funny thing. I get seasonal affective disorder in reverse. Only it's sort of a conscious reaction. I don't actually get depressed and annoyed in the heat because I don't like heat, and I enjoy the cold in the dark. It's fun. Um... So, I get it in reverse. But more to the point, the lamps are also used, apparently, to help get someone's circadian rhythm into order because, uh, like, the daylight lamp goes, aha, it's day, and I say, yeah, yeah, daylight, we get it, and um, then melatonin things, and all the important hormones that are going around saying, it's this time of day, it's this time of day, because you have an internal clock, sort of. It will tell you things like, you're supposed to go to sleep now. And uh, with me, for a long time, it used to say, you're supposed to go to sleep now, after what I was saying, Yes, I know that internal clock. Well, let's make my watch. I know that internal clock, only most of the external clock. Nah, it's good. I know that internal clock, but you see, everyone else went to sleep four hours ago. You're kind of late, man. And you can't reset this. Well, actually, the recommended treatment for resetting is called melatonin pills, and I've actually done this. I took a melatonin, pill melatonin at around uh, 2100 last night, went to bed at 2300, went to sleep at 2300, and woke up at 0800 for the first time in years. Not. Not a case of, oh, uh, too much, too much light coming in the window, I can't sleep anymore, or, ah, stupid jackhammer, or stupid hurricane flooding the second floor and everything. Um, I actually woke up the way normal people do. This is astounding, for me anyway. Um, so, other things to deal with. Firstly, I walked up and down Young Street twice today looking, looking for a, looking for a book, because stupid bookstores, even though they say on the, on the, um, company website, you know, in this case, chapters in a go, we have eight copies of this book in several different stores. I go, oh yeah? Well, I want to go and see if you're right about that. I go to I go to a store, and I go to the Indigo and Babe Lord, and he goes, no, we don't have it. Well, duh, it's not on the shelf. I thought you said it had it. There's a computer here, because they have oh, these, nice, these nice computers now. Well, sort of nice. They have stupid Mac keyboards I can't figure out. But, it, well, I can figure them out, but I'd rather not. Um, and a little search interface on the touch screen. It's kind of cool. And the computer said that they had eight copies in the store. And I asked the person, and they're like, yeah, where, I don't see it. And then she ends up grabbing the wrong book, because this is uh, book number two, of, and there's a book number one with the same title. Anyway, uh, and apparently they don't stock the store, the store properly. Um, you know, they only uh, have one account on Facebook, and they can't uh, read its wall post once you block it. Ha, ha, ha. Um, so eventually I had, to I had to go all the way down to the bottom end of Young Street, and I found it at a store there. And so, well, I didn't actually buy it because it wasn't interested in buying it. I just wanted to look at the damn thing, pretty pictures, and make sure it was worth reading and maybe buying later. Right. Um, but, uh, so bookstores are annoying like that. And the other thing that's really annoying for me today is burglar alarms. Um, first annoying thing about burglar alarms is that they're only a semitone lower in pitch than the fire alarm. And it confuses everyone. Um, <laughs> hands up everyone who got the reference. Ooh, you ate the back. You're cool. Um, right. Uh, let, damn, what was it? Burglar alarms, yes. The, uh, the thing with them, this is a true story, by the way. I was in Calgary for a weekend a couple of years back. And uh, I was playing with the room safe at the hotel, which is not advisable. Cause, but the thing is, the hotel safe had instructions on it for how to change the code. Because it was a number pad rather than, you know, tick, 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 tick. Um, with the combination lock. Uh, so it went... So here's how I changed the code. I figured, a burglar's... Someone who breaks in is going to be able to... Going to read that and go, Ah, I don't want to change the code. So I was going to try to see if this actually worked after... We were, as a burglar would approach it. And it turns out it doesn't. Because, uh, I put the wrong code in three times. And the sound... And the safe no longer... The number display started counting down from 30. And it was like, uh, 30 minutes. And I was like, huh? What the blazes? So... I was afraid the thing was going to explode or something. I was like, ooh, is there a bomb in the door? I mean, that would be cool if I could get within a reasonable distance and not get exploded bits of safe on me. But uh, the hotel desk said, yeah, next time you punch the code in, do it right. Otherwise, the police will come. And they, the other guy kind of giggled and put the phone down as if he was like, idiots. Um, so I almost got arrested for breaking into my own hotel safe, but, uh, but uh, I didn't. And then the other thing is the alarm here has motion sensors everywhere, and it has... Uh, Thingy. 
a really loud screeching alarm, which I suppose is supposed to deafen and incapacitate burglars. Um, as I said, a semitone lower than fire, the fire alarm, which is uh, kind of annoying. But, um, and you have to put the right code in and press a certain button. Now, the trouble is that on the number five for this burglar alarm system, there are two buttons with the same label on them. I'm the only one here this weekend because the, uh, because they managed to dodge going to the lake again. But, uh, and so I had the house to myself, and that's why I had to arm the alarm myself. But, uh, yeah, the tricky thing is that the, the keys are labeled funny, and two of them say the same thing. And one of them doesn't do it what it's, do what it's supposed to. But, and all of a sudden the thing goes screeching at me again, like I did the other night when I didn't do it right. But now I don't. Um, so, yeah, burglar alarms suck. How about a random Wikipedia article now? Um, if it's about burglar alarms, I'm going to stab my computer. Ooh. Ooh. I read this. Well, part of this. Um, Candide ou l'optimisme is today's featured article. I read it in a French class back in high school. It's interesting. Um, well, let's get the random article. It'll probably be less interesting. Prince Elizabeth Challenge Cup is a rowing event at Henley Royal Regatta. Open to first... Oh, the school first... Apes. What the blazes? Oh, I see. A fir uh, first, I suppose it's the ah. If you're the best rowing eight in your school, because um, it, apparently a uh, rowing team has eight rowers in a boat at a time. It must be damn long boats. I don't. That doesn't make sense. Cause yeah, cause you put another rower in. Sure, you're getting more thru propulsion power, but you're also getting a hell of a lot more weight. So uh, that does. Is there a balance there? Do the, the rowers have to stay under a certain weight or something? Because that just makes very little sense. Um, apparently, the latest winner of this thing is Eaton College. Um, good for them. Is that where my friend went? I had a friend who, from England. I don't know whether he went to Eaton College or... No, no, it was King's College. So, did they ever win? Let's see. Well, if it's the king's school, then actually his school really sucked at it. So, uh, anyway, remember this. Along with your hyperbolic geometry and your par parabolic ge not parabolic, your hyperbolic geometry and your elliptical geometry. In other words, your non-Euclidean geometry. So, including Maglonoff, Maglonoff, Cthulhu, really, Maglonoff, Good day.